What's up, guys? I wanted to take a look at Shiv because I just noticed something pretty, uh, pretty cool here. Now, you know, we were talking about if we couldn't get above this thirty-two hundred level, that was going to give us a lot of resistance because of that was prior, because of that being prior support. And what ended up happening was we got rejected really hard. But we can see pretty clearly here if we drop from like this wick, this wick, and these multiple touches here. Um, basically showing that when this broke up here from the symmetrical triangle back then, it ripped up, hit a blow off top, came back down, failed to hold support here, fell back in, and then chopped in this downtrending support and resistance here. But one crazy thing that we can see right here is if we actually draw um, a trend line from this wick, these multiple touches, we broke support at one point, tapped it again here, tapped it again here, came back up, so on and so forth. This is actually where we ended up tapping, right in line with this same exact support here. So that's something definitely to um, just kind of keep your eyes on, but it also kind of just shows like the tightness of this whole range here and where we are right now. But on the other flip side is we had this support here, this yellow line that I drew in that we caught a support bounce off of around here when I was going along right in this range here of 2650. Um, we can see that that same support line, we came down, we touched and consolidated on a couple times, and then we wicked below a few times over in this range here down to this 2300, which is what I was saying we could end up wicking down to, but I didn't really think we would get as low as we did. That's pretty wild, but it kind of just is cool to see how this could have been something that we could have caught if we were actually looking at this downtrending resistance or support, which I wasn't actually looking at. However, this just shows that right now we're having a very nice rip off of this line here, but we still have this resistance at the 2543 to keep our eyes on, and it could come back and reject off of that. Um, but mainly, if we were to get rid of this line here, and we just said, which it's not really going to be considered a descending triangle because we don't have that many touches down in this yellow line here. It's just kind of a, a support that I have drawn in. It's more so this this wedge that I'm talking about or this channel. But either way, if we were to pump back into this range and we are able to clear 2760, and if you want to be on the safe side, we can just, you know, chalk it up to way up in this range like we've been talking about. Reclaiming this is really the key thing. Um, but if we can rip ourselves back up, and I'm not saying this is going to happen in a day, but if we retested this line, that's 2764. And then if we actually confirm support on it, maybe back tested this 2555 again, we could see another pull up here within the next few weeks or so. Um, but if we broke and recontrolled this 3300 area, then we're talking about something different. But just keep an eye on it. This could just be a you know fake rally up that gets rejected. And then you just continue in that channel. So just draw this channel and this will kind of give us an idea of where the bottom touches could be. And then if we end up rolling over completely because Bitcoin continues down, then we're going to be pretty screwed because there's not much support below.